Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find nth derivative of cos of ax plus b. So here we have to write this y is equals to cos of ax plus b where this a and b these are the constants and we have to find this derivative y1, y2, y3 up to yn. That means here we have to differentiate this y with respect to x so that we get nth derivative yn, right? And this differentiation is called successive differentiation. So let's differentiate this y with respect to x. By differentiating this y, we get y1. And this differentiation is with respect to x. So here cos derivative, this is minus sine of ax plus b and this is functions of functions so here derivative of this ax plus b right so we get here this y1 is equals to minus of sine ax plus b into this a now we can check that when we differentiate this y1 we get y2 and this is here cos and in y3 we will get sine that means when we differentiate this y with respect to x we are getting here alternating sine and cos terms so to make a generalization what we have to do we have to write this minus sine in terms of this cos and for this we have this identity minus of sine theta is equals to this is cos of pi by 2 plus theta right and we can check this is by this expansion so here we can check that by using this we have this identity minus of sin theta is equals to cos of pi by 2 plus theta right so here we have to write down this minus sign in terms of cos so here we have this is cos of this ax plus b we have to treat this is as a theta so here we have cos of ax plus b plus pi by 2 and this a as it is right so this is we got first derivative now again differentiating this y1 we get y2 this is here we have y2 this is minus of sin ax plus b plus pi by 2 into this derivative of this ax plus b plus pi by 2 and this a this is as it is so here we have y2 is equals to minus of sin ax plus b plus pi by 2 into derivative of this with respect to x here we have this a and this a here we got here a square right so here again we have here minus of sin that means again we have to write this minus sin in terms of cos by using this identity so here we can write this is cos of this is now as a theta considering this complete bracket as a theta so here we have ax plus b plus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 right this is we got a square as it is so here on simplification we have this is y2 is equals to cos of ax plus b plus 2 pi by 2 into a square right yes now again when we differentiate this y2 with respect to x we get here this y3 is equals to minus of sine ax plus b plus 2 pi by 2 into derivative of this this is a here and this a square we got a cube so here again we have to write minus sign in terms of 
cost so we can write this is complete by considering theta so here we have ax plus b plus 2 pi by 2 plus pi by 2 right yes we have write down minus sign theta is equals to this is cos of pi by 2 plus theta right so we got here y3 is equals to cos of this ax plus b plus 3 pi by 2 into a cube. Now we can check that here. We get y2 this is as here y3 this is right. In the same manner we can write y4 what is here this is cos of ax plus b plus this 4 pi by 2 into a raised to 4 right similarly we can write y5 y6 and yn right what will be yn here this is cos of ax plus b plus n pi by 2 into a raised to n. Yes, we have find nth derivative. Right? This is cos of ax plus b plus n pi by 2 into a raised to n where this n is positive integer. Yes, when we have y is equals to cos of ax plus b, its nth derivative is this is cos of ax plus b plus n pi by 2 into a raised to n, right? That means when we consider this is b is equals to 0, we have this is y is equals to cos of ax. So that its nth derivative will be here. This is cos of ax plus n pi by 2 into a raised to n. Yes, we, here we have this b is equals to 0. So, nth derivative will be this one. Now, let us take some simple examples here. If we have y is equals to simply this is cos of 2x plus 3. Right. So, what will be here? 10th derivative. This is we have to find 10th derivative that means n is here we have taken 10. So y10 will be this is cos of 2x plus 3 plus this is 10 into pi by 2 into this is 2 raised to 10 right. Yes this is we have find 10th derivative of this y. And simply if we have y is equals to this is cos of 3x and here we have to find its y3 or okay. So what is y3? This is cos of 3x plus 3 into pi by 2 into 3 raised to 3 right. And if we have to find y4, what will be y4? y4 is here. This is cos of 3x plus this is 4 into pi by 2 into this is 3 raised to 4. Yes. If you want, we can simplify this is further here. Right. So, we get here nth derivative. So, in this way, here we have find nth derivative of this y is equals to cos of ax plus b where this a and b these are the constants. So yes that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.